Hey everyone, how's it going? We're playing some more Valheim. Today I have one big goal and a lot of smaller goals. So, the big one, I want to build a new base. You guys, if you've been watching for a while, you know that we currently, or I currently, live in this wooden house, and it's great. But, with the new Ashlands update, they released a new material, which I thought, hey, this could be really fun to build out of. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and build an entirely new base today in this video and we're going to do it through a time lapse so i'm going to level the ground i'm going to build the actual building then i'm going to transfer over all my crafting and items and again we're going to do all that through about a five minute time lapse with some of in my opinion the best tracks from some of the bosses so um yeah i hope you guys like it after the time lapse we're going to continue playing but for the sake of this building, it's going to take 3-4 hours and I can't talk that long unless I don't want to be able to talk the next morning. So let's go ahead and get started with that time lapse and I'll see you guys afterward to explore a little bit more of the Ashlands.
All right, everybody, the build is done. Now it's time to do a classic YouTube house tour. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's show you guys the outside. Like I said, you've seen all of this in the time lapse, but a lot of it was sped up to almost three, 4,000 times its speed. So, you know, a lot of the details can get lost on you. But what I ended up doing is I used the flat roofs up until there. After that, I created a wall. I used the corners of the new roofs. But those end up leaving holes no matter like how you do them. So I put the little arches just to give it a bit more uh, sass, if you know what I mean. Then I used the curved uh, roofs just for the outlining here. For the actual build itself, I just used that new material with a couple of the window holes. And I do have one more layer under the roof. The doors, I used the new dark wood gate doors. And I raised up some of the dirt around the house and I just quickly made this in a stone path right out front just for it to give it uh, you know it's for it to look a little cooler now it's time for the actual house tour now I'm gonna say this right this is the first house I've ever built which you guys might be like a little confused like what do you mean you're at the end of the game well if you guys remember in the beginning of the series I was playing with friends and they are the builders they ended up building all the houses they even built that house right there that's why I thought it was necessary to build my own so close because we have everything we need here we have the wolves we have the locks uh, we have the chickens we have all the smelting and the food so I wanted to build something close but I wanted to build something of mine so this is my first build so when you're looking at it take that into context I don't know all the rules of the building all I know is you need pillars somewhere so let's go and close the door so we can't go back out and let's go ahead and explore so I placed on a few of these torches and these wisp torches just to give us some light I have this middle area right here with all of our crafting along with their enhancements so of course the black forge and the forge with all the enhancements behind them the stone cutter, the workbench, uh, the galder table, and the artisan table. And I think it, it's really nice this way. Before, all of our crafting stations were kind of spread across a square room. Now they're in a nice little like U shape. So they're all right here for us. I have one reinforced chest right here. So I can kind of put stuff in here while I'm crafting. Uh, but we'll take a look at that kind of stuff later. Then I have my full inventory system in the back here. It will need to be expanded a little bit because I'm kind of already running out of room as you can see like most of my chests are pretty much already full meaning I will need to expand this and I'm not super super sure how I'm going to be expanding it. I know one of my options is to turn the chests basically instead of this way this way that way I can fit more on the wall which I think I will end up doing very basically very soon i'm probably gonna do it like maybe after this video i don't know but yeah these are definitely gonna need to be fixed i didn't know exactly how many items i had on my old place but clearly too many because most of my chests are full so that'll have to be redone but for now this is the first floor and i just have four pillars basically supporting the second floor so now let's go ahead and go to the second floor and i'm trying to think if there's anything new i and the other thing that i did was if there was any new upgrades to the tables i also made those while i was at it um i'm trying to remember what is new where's my hammer i think my hammer's in here i'm trying to think of like what is new did i build anything new as far as these upgrades let's take a look so that isn't new i think i made this the gem cutter so it's five flame metal bloodstone morgan stinu and ashwood I think this is what I was looking at right here. Yes, the gem cutter. So I did make the gem cutter. I think that might be the only new thing, though. Yeah, because that's not new. And that's not new. Okay, so this also in the rolling pins and cutting board. But that's for the cauldrons. We'll have to take a look at that later. So yeah, anyway. That is everything down here. Now if we move upstairs, this is my actual living area, of course. Uh, like I said, there were, there came to a part in the roof where I I'm I'm not okay I'm not gonna even play with you guys I just I don't I didn't know how to make the roof any higher it just I couldn't find the correct supporting so I literally just made it another floor I added stairs right here so we can go up and then the pillars to support the roof that we do have here and we'll go upstairs in a minute now this is my actual living area now I made sure to basically get everything to get max comfort that is currently available to me so that includes the round table which gives the max rest for a table this is a new item this lava what is it a lava lamp 
a lava lantern. So that is new. I did create that. A dragon bed to give Max. Well, of course, we have a carpet, a chair to give Max, and then all the other features like the armor stand, the hot tub, which we can jump in right now. I have one of the banners and the hearth, which gives Max resting, of course, with it on. So this is my home. The only two items that I'm currently missing is the mule log tree thing and the maple. But of course, the maple only comes around midsummer, which is going to be pretty soon, so I'll be able to get that. And then, of course, the mule tree or log or whatever it's called comes around during Christmas, and it is nowhere near Christmas. So that one I'm not going to be able to get for a little while. Funny enough, I had one at my old house, but I broke it, not realizing that it was regional. So, that's interesting. So anyway, that's where I live, that's where I sleep, and then if we go up here, we have one more little floor, but I'm not going to use this floor for anything. It's not going to be for furniture, it's mostly just for a view. So, I'm going to be able to up here, be able to go up here and just have a nice view. I can snipe from here. I don't I don't know why I would do any of that, but yeah, because I couldn't figure out the roof, I made this instead. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not even mad. So, that is kind of the house i'll, I'll kind of give you guys one more look from maybe a little far away maybe i'll hit up a little fly command maybe in a minute so we can really take a look at it but yeah and i do want to show you guys something else with the fly command in a minute uh it's something that i've been meaning to show you guys for a while and i just haven't gotten really gotten around to it but yeah that's the house now Aside from the house, I said there were, there's a couple of other things that I wanted to do, and I did these. I wanted to do them on camera, but I just got impatient. I just really just wanted to get them done. So, here are a few notable things that I've done during the time lapse. First, you can just see it. I made the flame metal shield. So, if we go over here, where is it? Flame metal shield. So, it is 8 flame metal, 2 hide, and 10 ash wood. I did make it. I have not upgraded anything. Also, you might notice that I do have my melee armor on because I do want to go to the Ashlands today. But instead of my mage armor, I want to take my melee armor and just see how the biome is without mage. Because so far, all I've done is the mage. So, we're going to do that today and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm saying that... In preparation for this adventure, I did make the flame metal shield. And again, I do need to upgrade everything, but I currently don't have the flame metal for it. So maybe we can go to the Ashlands today and grab that flame metal to make those upgrades. And I think that's pretty much it. And we've we had the Nidhogg of Thundering before. Another thing that I did in preparation for the going into the biome using melee is I created new foods, which you can, once again, already see in my inventory. The mashed meat, the ro roasted crust pie, and the... I'm just going to call it the pick pie, because I, I don't know if I can pronounce that correctly without making myself look like a toddler. So those are all new foods, actually. So, if you guys remember, I did mention one of the new, new upgrades is for the cauldron. Let's see. Let me see if I can find it again. It is this. The rolling pins and cutting boards, which does use the new flame metal. As you can see, I put it right here. Oop, did I do something with it? So, that upgraded the cauldron to the next level. Do I not have any... Do I, I think I have like a little wood in here, right? Please tell me I have a little wood. No way, I don't have any wood, bro. Alright, well, let's go grab a little bit of wood, and then I can show you guys some of the new new items, and they're pretty good. I'm going to wait to eat them until we actually get to the Ashlands. This is my the current remains of my wood farm. I usually, if you guys wondering how I usually get my wood, I just spawn in the troll using the stav, and I just let him, let him kind of go ham on me, and he just ends up breaking all the wood. I can't break it with this. No, I didn't think so. Okay. I think we only need one piece of wood for now. Like I said, I'm, I'm not out here gathering wood. That's not the point of this. Also, tell me if I'm wrong. Did the necks get a redesign? I feel like they look different. Right? I'm not the only one that thinks they look a little different. I don't know. T tell me if I'm tripping in the comments. Did, did the necks get a redesign and I just like didn't know about it? Okay, so let's go back to... Our cooking area running out of stamina I think okay there we go so I'm trying to think of everything that's new 
Let's see, so this black soup is new. What does it do? I don't know. But it does something. The blood pudding. Yes, this doesn't feel like it's too good, but I know it's probably just cheap, right? Because it's this little blood bags, barley, that's cheap. But I know we have a few new things that, that no, this honey glazed chicken's not new, but it's this is pretty good though. So the marigrain mar marinated marigrained marinated these this these all right Ooh, i need to slow down this is new so this is one of the new mage foods and it's better than a lot of the food that i'm using now but it's also a little expensive because it uses the smoke puffs and the saps smoke puffs are they come in like only one or two per cluster it seems so they're a little harder to get get and then of course the sap is always annoying to get but this is new and it's pretty good we have the mashed meat which i do have in my inventory this one it just combines all the meats with the fiddleheads of the new ashland so this one is by far the easiest to make because the fiddleheads also come in giant clusters so this is going to be the main food for me this is big because it's also easy to make we have the uncooked pick pie. So this is also new. This one's a little harder because we still need we need these vineberry clusters, which I haven't. Uh, I don't know how to farm them yet. I'm gonna be honest with you. But this is we have from what vineberry I did have. I tried to make a few. Let's see what else do we have. We have this crusted pie, which uses the vulture eggs. So I was wondering what the vulture eggs were used for. It is used for this. So I did make quite a few of these. And I think that's everything that I can think of. And I can show you guys, like, the stats of these. So health 100, 6, six per tick. Health 34. Well, that's actually not that good. Oh. I didn't I didn't realize this was actually terrible. What? Oh, but, it, but it's 30 minutes. No. Okay, that's actually not super good. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and head back home. And let's switch out the pie. Yeah, I didn't realize the pie sucked. <laughs> Ugh. And when I go into, you know, the most dangerous biome thus far, I definitely want to have the best food I could possibly have. Now, I don't... I wonder if I should make, like, the current best bow. What is this? Health 33? That's not that good. Do I have anything? I could use that. Lox meat. What about the sausages? The meat platter, but I only have one of the meat platter. Okay, maybe I'll bring the seeker meat with me. You know what's one thing I didn't try too? I think I did, I think I left most of my meat over here. So this is Lox. I have some of the new meat for the dog, the Askvin or something. I haven't just cooked its meat yet. I'm very curious to see what type of stats it gives me because if the seeker meat is this good then I'm going to assume that the meat from this Askovin might be even better. And maybe even the, what is this, the vulture meat? Let me see what both of those do. Do I have a lot left? Oh, and also the Askovin bladder. Man, did I, I used all of my Askovin tail. I didn't realize I used all that much. Okay. Oh my God, do I still have no meat, uh, wood? Darn it, bro. Do I have any? Oh, okay. can I? I can use fine wood, right? No way, I can't use fine wood. Bro, it's wood. Just take it, please. I wonder, did I leave? Did I leave like an axe around here somewhere? Bronze axe? Dude, that is the weakest axe manageable. Iron axe? Okay, let's do the iron axe. Um, you know what? Let's. No, no, no. I'm not going to eat yet. I don't, I don't want to eat and waste it. There we go, a little wood in my pocket. I'm glad that one was basically one hit, because I was going to say, hey, bro, I don't want... I'm kind of over the whole farming of wood. If I'm being honest with you. Fight this bad boy. And let's see how this stuff cooks. Okay, did I place... Can I, can I not put the... Oh, it's a bladder. I don't think it's a food. Okay, let me put this chicken right here. Let's go ahead and let those things cook and see how they turn out. For now, I'm just going to place this stuff in here. I know this is very David of me to just start placing stuff in random places, but let's give this a minute to cook. 
And I'm very curious on the benefits. Also, these things cook a lot quicker than the oven does. Yeah, because like this, the pie and the mashed meat, they all have to be in the ovens. Okay, so we have vulture meat 70 with 6. That's good. And then 70. Okay, so these are both the same. But yeah, it's definitely, this is better than the seeker meat. This is 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay, so you know what we'll do? We'll end up taking both with us. Let's just take both. And yeah, I think we should be good. Let's head back to the house, drop off our hammer and stuff like that. And I think we're going to go ahead and take our first little adventure. I know we spent a lot of time today just kind of talking and stuff. But let's take our first adventure. You know what? No, I'm not going to even bring it. I, I won't need it. I don't think if I'll need anything else, though. I don't think so. This was my old shield, the buckler. But now I have this flame metal shield, which I know I could probably design too. But I don't really know how. What is, what is, how much piercing 85, 46? What does this do? 130, but man, I'll, I'll keep that, I think. All right, uh, I have bone mass up. I, I think we should just go. And I think the objective for today is just to find more fortresses. I need more flame metal, and I'm not going to bring basically all of my equipment to make the battering rams and stuff the goal of today is just to find more fortresses let's go ahead and equip these two and we finally get back to the whole blocking thing it felt really unnatural blocking with the mage staffs i i, I know you guys could, are probably making fun of me all the way up until the end here that i just wasn't blocking with the staffs but uh you know in my defense it's just if you wouldn't think you can defend with that you know it just it seems a little unnatural so i think we should wait does it okay you know what let's just head this way and see what happens you know actually i think i want to go down here so let's let, we're gonna have to head into areas that we've kind of already explored a little bit but yeah i want to head down here because that's where i think most of the fortresses will be oh i should probably eat food that probably help. And dude, look at that health bar shoot into the sky, bro. That is a thing of beauty, to be honest. It'll take a little time for it to go up, but... Oh, I probably should have also renewed my rested. Ah, oh, well, 14 minutes will be enough. Hopefully we can find one more new one in at least 14 minutes. Yeah, this is all water. Yeah, health goes up really slowly, man. I could use a health potion, but I feel like I should really use that... In more of a dire circumstance, not, you know, just to get some health back. And to be honest, I could probably parry a, cop a bunch of the first attacks here. Alright. Ooh. Berries. Now, we always want to grab these berries if possible. Grab those clusters right there. Are these more berries? Or is this just... It's just ashwood. Okay. Alright, well, we can take on, like, a, a single dog at a time. That's possible. Okay, come on. I need to get the timing a little better. There we go. Where do you think you're going, bud? Was there more dogs? Hey, honestly? Oh, my God. Did not expect that. Whew. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess, I guess it's our first time fighting a Valkyrie. That hurt. Woo! Ooh. That was somehow crit. Okay, this is not... I can't seem to reach it very well. That's kind of the problem. Honestly, though, Valkyrie, if you want to get rid of the dog for me first, that would be pretty great, actually. Ooh. Oh my god, it sent me in lava! Dude, that's not even fair. You sent me in lava. Okay. Oh my god, I'm on fire. Dude. Yeah, honestly, I th that, that was a pretty easy fight. I just kind of got thrown into lava, which... Come on, man. What am I, you know, what am I supposed to do about that, you know?
Okay, everybody. It looks like we found our next fortress. Does that guy see me? I'm also burning. Yeah, I don't know if that guy sees me. But we have found our next fortress, so this is going to be the next one we siege. But that will also... Ooh, that's a lot of things. That's also going to be probably next video. So, guys, thanks for watching.